This is task 24, pipettes. Uh, it's fine motor, eye-hand coordination, one of the tasks within that category. And it involves colors, uh, liquid, uh, in a liquid form. What's nice is using the pipettes, it's so hard in free space to be able to, to, to have a child or a student on the autism spectrum understand, or any student for that matter, understand that you press, you, you put in the liquid, you let go, you have the liquid come up, and then you transport it. Well, in this case, visually, you press, and then just a bit later, you have it come up. So there's a real clear uh, correlation between pressing, letting go, and having the liquid come up. And then you can move it and drop it in the container. So you have yellow, then you have red, and you have blue. Um, and that's the wrong container. All right, we all make mistakes. There's the blue, and here's the blue. But you can see where you could mix colors, too, to get other colors. Um, it, it can be a, 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 like a free time activity uh, where you set a timer. Uh, it would be difficult to, you could maybe put a line on these so that you know when you get to the line you're finished, but uh, it might be easier to set a timer for uh, five minutes of activity and then when the timer, when the bell goes off, the activity is finished. Another way of using this activity is to not have the containers on here. Just remove them and use uh, a napkin. And this way you can splay. And by the way, there are similar, these, these uh, small containers are also directly under the pipettes. And that's where the liquid is coming from. So here you have uh, a towel, paper towel, where you can begin to splay and create uh, some really pretty artwork. Again, it can be uh, more of a leisure activity, and um, you might uh, have a timer, again, to establish when the activity is finished. Task 24, pipettes.